Hello all. I want to talk to you a little bit about the notion of bright and dull. I'm going to do something uh, just by putting out some color. You know, if I was just going through a random stack of color like you are at home, and I found like a, a bright red, and then I found something that was a little softer to me, and what I would call duller, um, I would even call something like this a little duller. It feels a little softer than the vividness of this. And that's what we're talking about a little bit is chroma. And then when does that color start to get even duller has been the question all week. People are struggling with, you know, uh, and, and I, I know you all were suggesting, Chrissy, you suggested reading the back of the, um, the color aid, which is helpful, I think, to identify some of the things. But I think that ultimately I prefer you rely on sensation more than the back of the color aid because when you're in the real world, you can't rely on the back of anything. You know, there's no color on the back of your pants or your skin. There's no code that tells you what you are. So I'm thinking all of these are getting a little bit duller and uh, I would say that's even duller yet and you can hardly see that. It's, do you see it there? It's like a red violet. It's very violety, but it's still red. And then this is kind of a brown. Can you see that? I don't know if it's registering well, and that's brown. If I got a greener version of it, but still dull, it would be something like that, which means this is probably a, has a lot of this color in it to make it this dull, but it still probably has pure green in it as well, something like this. So this mixed with this would make something like this, which means it's pretty dull if we don't see this color or that color in it purely anymore, okay? And then if I go to some of the dullest things over here, they would be grays. So here's, here's sort of a, a range for me of going from the brightest thing to getting duller, 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 dullest. And so even though these are still very bright, they're not the brightest thing. The brightest thing usually has a, a certain vibrancy to it. This would be a row of some very bright colors, okay? Can you see these okay? This is, this is a row of intensely bright hues. When I step down a notch, they might have white in them. So they might be a little less pure, something like that. I'll leave it in one row. Okay, can you see those okay? There you go. And then if I got a little duller, I might look for something that has some complexity to it. So you might have something that looks like a yellow, but it starts to be a yellow green and, and it's, it's not even quite, you know, all that green. If I, if I pick a pure green like we had out earlier and you compare it to this, you can see that it has a lot more in it than this does. Uh, this has a mixture of things. This is quite pure. And this has a little bit of white in it. Can you see that? It looks a little whitey, so I might slide it a little bit this way, you know, not into the next aisle, but a little bit over. Uh, may not be absolutely pure, pure as this color is, or this color is, very pure. This starts to be a little, what we call duller. This is also dull in the same sort of row. Okay, we're getting some colors that are, I call muddy. Uh, they start to feel softer to my, my, my body. You know, if I feel the sensation of these colors, you know, they're all very strong and shocking, and they, they go pow to my eyes. And then these go pow, and these go whoo, 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 a little bit. And these, boy, these get even softer. When I start looking at things down here, you get into the realm of neutrals, you know, just browns and, and tans. And then when you go all the way, all the way out, you end up with grays, and I could, I could drop out you know, a couple more grays, but you know what those are like. And even uh, something that's almost gray, it's a, a blue, but it almost feels gray. Now, where would I put that? You know, feel around and think, does it feel this gentle? No, it's pretty light. So can I find a, a dark bright? Yeah, there's a dark bright, right? Very dark. So I don't know. This doesn't feel pure, right? Look at it next to some of the blue greens or blues. Down here, there's a blue. Can you see that one right there? That's pretty bright. So it's a little softer than that. I might, I might put it here, but then, but then when I put it in this range, you see how it all of a sudden feels too gray? 
So it might have a little bit of complexity to it. it might be, I might put it here. It might be a very light version of one of these. Okay, so I might, I might leave it here. That feels pretty good. If I go over here, it feels too soft. If I go over here, it feels a little bright. It looks a little blue next to some of these perfect grays, right? Especially the light one. See how blue it appears? So in, in, this is all about its relationship to the other colors. So when we say the words bright and dull, what we're referring to is this range from bright to dull. And I don't want you to think of it as one or the other. It's more about a range. And you might want to do this at home, or not might want to do this. I think I'm requiring this this week, that we do some scales. We do some things like this. Um, do, do something at home like that for yourself, OK? Just take. Just take a range, and this is one, two, three, four, five. You might do, you might do a, a four-part four range that you think goes from bright to dull. You might do a seven-part range. If I had to do seven, that gets a little more difficult. I might throw in something like this, um, and I'm going to look around and throw in something like this, right? Now, where would I put these in this range? That's the question. I don't know right now. You know, I want to feel around. I want to go up here. It's obviously not this bright, right? I go down here and it's not that dull. Is it here? Is it here? You know, this looks pretty bright, right? Maybe this goes here. I had the scale in the wrong direction. <laughs> so I feel it around here. Does it feel that brown? In reality, it doesn't feel that, that brown to me. It feels like it has a little more color to it. It's a little bit gray. It's a little bit red. So it's, it, it might be here. Um, it might be here, but this feels a little brighter to me. See how that feels like it's glowing a little bit more and this feels softer? So I think I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it here because right now I think it's a little, it has a, a little more red to it than this. This feels very brown in reality, and we could argue that. This is very light. That's value. If you remember your chart, value goes this way. So it's, this is lighter and darker. So to me, if I put this chart up here, this one feels lighter, but it also feels duller. See chroma over here? We're going duller down this way towards gray. But chroma, if you look, this is achromatic dulling. So this is where we mix a hue with gray. But you can also chromatically dull, which is mixing a hue with one of these colors, creating neutrals. So, now where would I put this one? And that's the last color we'll do. It looks, it looks like it still has a fair amount of red in it, so I might put it up in here. But it's got some mixtures in it. It's a little bit dulled. Um, I'm not sure, you know, this is clearly a darker color than this. So it's darker as in value, darker. But I don't know if it's, I know it's darker, but I don't know if it's brighter, which one's brighter. That's hard for me to tell. But this, this looks very much so darker, clearly. My question is, is it duller? And that's hard to decide. Hmm. I'm feeling like this is brighter still to me. So I'm going to put this up ahead. You might argue differently, and that's all right. But this would be a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven part scale. And I think that feels pretty good. Uh, this one's so light that I almost want to put it over here. And it has so much gray in it. You see, it's got a lot of gray. It's got a pinky quality in reality. I don't know if I can make it appear more like it does here. No, it looks very gray on your, in your eyes. You see if I put a gray next to it, how pink it is? That's an actual achromatic gray, this card. So I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it this way. I think it's tempting to put it the other way because it's light and I want it near the gray. But it honestly, this is brown. And neutral, a neutral brown, which is right up here, when the two colors balance each other out, the two basic hues, like red and green, you end up with a neutral, which means it's not green and it's not red. It's right in between, and that's a neutral. This is a clear neutral. It's brown. So I'm going to settle on that. I'm going to pause, and I'll talk to you in the next video about paint.